in a moment we'll get on to four steps for introducing respectful culture but just want to quickly uh, address what Victoria and some of the other others were saying that it can be a very sticky culture where disrespectful communication occurs and the, the exercise we've just been through is one that you can do yourself to so make sure that everything you do or everything or as close to everything as possible, everything you do is respectful because when you're generating respect then you are a contributor to the culture and you're making a positive contribution to the culture. And I've seen workplace cultures that were very negative and, and very damaging where one person took the leadership to say, I'm not going to continue acting as everybody around me is acting. And they made a point of being respectful to the point of almost being over the top. And in number of situations, that leadership that the person has shown has slowly turned the entire culture around. Now, we, that won't always work, enough, but it's certainly worth everybody being able to do their part in making sure that they're respectful. The other way that it can be used is on an organisational basis, and that is if an organisation says, and by organisation obviously I mean school or wherever you work, if the workplace says we want to introduce a respectful culture, then having all of the staff go through that exercise that we just did and collating all the answers, then the workplace, your school, wherever you work has got a ready-made list of what comprises a respectful culture. And if everybody agrees, okay, that everything from this list uh, is a respectful culture and this is what we should strive for. It's a very powerful tool for turning around a workplace culture, providing an antidote where the poison already exists, but even better when it's preventative. Now, on your handout on the first page, I've got 10 actions you can focus on to influence the culture of respect and civility at work. This is from Barbara Rickman. The Legacy Business Cultures website that's there is a, certainly a very, very rich source of information and I would encourage you if you're interested to follow through, certainly go to that website. They've got a lot of very useful information there. But there are 10 actions. I'll, I'll leave you to go through those in your own time. But those 10 actions are some of the things you can do to just ensure that work, that your behaviour in a workplace is respectful. So let's go through those four steps for introducing a respectful culture. And keep in mind that, that these steps can exist on two levels. They can exist on an individual level or they can exist at an organisational level. 